You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, yesterday was Judgment Day for Michigan head coach Jawan Howard for his role in starting a brawl against the University of Wisconsin. He was upset that the Wisconsin head coach called a timeout with 15 seconds left, and Wisconsin was up by, I believe, 15 points. Now, there was a lot of rumblings as to how long Jawan Howard would be suspended and also would he actually end up losing his job. Well, Stephen A. Smith can rest easily as Jawan Howard will not be fired. However, he will be suspended or banned for the remaining regular season. And actually, guys, he's pretty lucky here because he's actually able to return for the postseason, the conference tournament, and probably the NIT if the University of Michigan uh, does get there. And they probably will end up making the uh, NIT. But over here on the New York Post, Michigan suspends Jawan Howard for rest of regular season for role in brawl. It says here, after telling Wisconsin coach Greg Gard, I remember that shit before an altercation in which he struck an opposing coach following the Badgers win over Michigan on Sunday. Jawan Howard will now have to remember all of that afternoon's events from home for the rest of the regular season. Michigan suspended Howard on Monday for the rest of the regular season, which amounts to five games in addition to a $40,000 fine. Michigan and the Big Ten worked together on the punishment. By rule, the Big Ten could only suspend Howard a maximum of two games. Michigan added the three additional games. I did not know that. So uh, still, the suspension allows Howard to return to the sideline for the Wolverines postseason, which includes the Big Ten tournament and most likely the NIT. And Ju Juwan Howard did make a statement here. He said this, quote, after taking time to reflect on what happened, I realized how unacceptable my actions and words were. And how they affected so many. I am truly sorry, Howard said in a statement. I speak a lot about being a Michigan man and representing the University of Michigan with class and pride. I do not. I did. I did not do that, nor did I set the right example in the right way for my student athletes. I will learn from my mistake and this mistake will never happen again. In his apology, How Howard incorrectly referred to Badger's assistant, Joe uh, Kavanhoff, whom he struck as Joel Kavanhoff. Probably just a um, a mistake here. Uh, guard received a $10,000 fine for his role in the altercation. One bad Badgers player, Jacoby Neath, and two Michigan players, Terrence Williams and Musa Dia Diabati, each received one game suspensions. And it also says here from the uh, Bit 10 commissioner, uh, Bit 10. Conference coaches and student athletes are expected to display the highest level of sportsmanship conduct. I am grateful for the partnership with Michigan Athletic Director Ward Manuel and Wisconsin Athletic Director Chris McIntosh. Our expectation is that the incident yesterday will provide our coaches and student athletes with the opportunity to reflect, learn, and move forward in a manner that demonstrates decorum and leadership on and off the court. So that is the uh, update on Jawan Howard. He will miss the remaining five games of the regular season. And I believe a lot of people for the most part, but actually calling for him to be sus suspended for the rest of the regular season. Um, maybe a little bit of surprise that it wasn't actually uh, the rest of the full season, you know, considering um conference tournament and uh postseason. But Jawan Howard will be back on the sideline coaching in the postseason, he will not lose his job. And honestly, I wasn't sure. It, to me, it was kind of up in the air. I mean, that was pretty bad right there. Really, really bad. Jawan Howard is supposed to be the pretty much the CEO of the team. And man, he just completely lost it, man. He really did lose it. But uh, Jawan Howard out for five games. Do, do you guys actually think he got off pretty light? Or do you think this is a bit too harsh or should he have actually been suspended for the remaining season or actually get fired? Let us know that in the comments below. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans.
Jawan Howard, he will be back. Stephen A. Smith, rest easy, man. You don't have to worry about him actually getting fired because in my video yesterday, Stephen A. Smith was actually worried about uh, Jawan Howard getting fired. But that is not the case. And someone was telling me after I posted that video, we'll probably find out that Jawan Howard was either going to be suspended or fired. And naturally, about an hour afterwards, we found out he was suspended. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.